Okay. The density of oxygen gas at standard temperature and pressure is 1.43 kg per meter cube. Estimate the root mean square speed of oxygen gas molecules at standard temperature and pressure. Assume that the gas, the gas behaves as an ideal gas. Okay, so information given, we have the density. Okay, this is the density. Okay, this is at standard temperature and pressure. Okay, standard temperature and pressure means uh, the, the, temp, the pressure is uh, one atmospheric pressure and the temperature is uh, zero degrees Celsius. Uh, okay, these are the, the binary number. Binary number one zero, yeah, very easy to remember. Uh, but this atmospheric pressure and degree Celsius is not in SI unit. You need to change to Pascal pressure in Pascal, temperature in Kelvin. Okay, and then oxygen gas. Another thing we know about oxygen gas is um, okay, it is O two, O two. Uh, it has molar mass, molar mass of uh, sixteen gram, ah, uh, uh, gram uh, per mole. Uh, 16 gram per mole. Uh, this one also you have to change to kilogram per mole. Uh, divide by 1000. Okay. Uh, these are the things we know. And then estimate the root mean square speed. Uh, so this question asks us to find VRMS. Uh, we need to find VRMS of oxygen gas at this uh, standard temperature and pressure. So at this uh, one atmospheric pressure and 0 degrees Celsius. Okay. So how to do this? How to find this VRMS? Okay, actually we have uh, sev two for several formula to find VRMS. Okay, if you uh, still remember, okay, this is one way, PV equal to uh, 1 over 3 nmv square. Okay, uh, or we can also use the formula, this one, VRMS equal to 3 square root 3kt over m or 3rt over molar mass. Okay, since we have molar mass, we can use this formula, VRMS. Okay, try and, uh, so, uh, okay, let write down what formula do we have here. Yeah? We have a uh, VRMS uh, equal to okay. Since we have the molar mass, uh, we have the molar mass square root three uh, RT over uh, molar mass. Okay, For this one can help us to we have the molar mass, we have the temperature, and we can find the VRMS. Okay, or the other way is uh, using this formula. Uh, yeah, this one PV equal to uh, one over three. Because it gives us a density, you see that? It gives us a density, density. So we can use this one. Uh, P equal to 1 over 3 density VRMS square. Uh, because you know how to get density? You know how to get density? Okay, let us write down this formula, formula first. Huh? This formula first. Uh, PV, the formula we learned is this one. 1 over 3 nm. Okay. Uh, mean square speed mean square speed okay uh, actually this this whole thing this whole thing is the total mass uh, this is actually the uh, total mass of gas yeah total mass of gas so when uh, the volume when this volume go to the right hand side so this total mass divided by volume you get density uh, okay so this uh, nm okay this nm you divide by volume okay and then another thing is uh, this this part uh, this part this one is actually uh, vrms square you know that uh, mean square speed is actually vrms square uh, i told you you just refer to the previous video i already explained about this okay uh, so we can write that as a uh, vrms uh, square okay uh, so this uh, this total mass divided by the volume, that's why you get density. Uh, that's why you get density pressure equal to 1 over 3. Uh, density uh, VRMS square. Okay? Uh, so this is the formula. Yeah, this is the formula 1 over 3. Heat pressure equal to 1 over 3. Density uh, VRMS square. Okay? We use this formula. So uh, let's just use the density here. Density is 1.43 kilogram per meter cube. Uh, already in SI unit. Good, yeah? So, already SI unit, so we can substitute in the pressure, the density here. Do we have the pressure? Pressure is uh, standard temperature and pressure. is uh, Pressure is one atmospheric pressure. 
uh, what atmospheric pressure so uh, what is one atmospheric pressure huh? uh, one atmospheric pressure is uh, how many pascal uh, you learn about that uh, one atmospheric okay i think this one you look at the list of constant okay list of constant given in the exam okay the atmospheric pressure you must take the this value uh, one atmospheric pressure is 1.013 exponent 5 pascal uh, this one yeah so uh, one atmospheric pressure is 1.013 exponent 5 pascal uh, okay uh, so we can uh, substitute into here uh, 1.013 exponent uh, 5 pascal already in SI unit remember all must be in SI unit yeah uh, SI unit that means you must have pascal you must have kelvin you must have uh, kilogram uh, kilogram per mole uh, huh? the molar mass huh? the volume is meter cube not liter uh, remember this yeah uh, the SI unit okay Okay, so uh, okay, let's continue. So this is uh, uh, one over three density is what's the density given? Ah, one point four three and uh, one point four three. Okay, kilogram per uh, meter cube. Okay, let's uh, drag a little bit down here. Ah, so uh, and then ah, we can we can find our V RMS, but this one have square yet. Yeah? Okay, so let's calculate and find yeah find the answer. Okay, and remember to find the VRMS, we need to uh, square root lah. Square root the answer we got. Okay, because we have square here, we have square here. Uh, we need to square root. Okay, so what answer do we get? Let's calculate. Okay, so I got uh, four six zero. 460.996 uh, or which is uh, around 461 yeah 461 uh, meter per second uh, is that correct is the answer correct let's find out is the answer correct yeah it's correct yeah 460.996 uh, meter per second okay that's correct Okay, so just now I did mention that we can use this formula also because we have the molar mass. Uh, molar mass is actually not given. Uh, molar mass is 16 gram per mole. Uh, but it's a general knowledge. We know all of us know about the periodic table. Periodic table. The molar mass of uh, oxygen is 16 gram per mole. Okay, let's try this. Try to use this formula also. Yeah, see whether it can get the same answer. Uh, 16 gram per mole. So it's... Um, Okay, we need to divide by thousand. Okay, remember the 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 this molar mass need to be in kilogram per mole. Yeah, so your molar mass is uh, sixteen gram for oxygen, sixteen gram per mole. So it becomes what it becomes um sixteen exponent uh negative three uh kilogram per mole. Uh, okay, be careful of this part. Yeah. You need to change to kilogram because the periodic table one is uh, always in gram yeah always in gram you need to change to kilogram because we only use SI unit you only use SI unit kilogram okay uh, the gram you need to change to kilogram before you substitute okay now let's substitute yeah so uh, VRMS okay the temperature the temperature is uh, zero degree Celsius which is uh, zero degree Celsius. Uh, if you change to Kelvin, it is uh, you can put as two seven three Kelvin, yeah, uh, or two seven three point one five. Uh, it's the same lah, yeah. Either one, okay. Uh, two seven three or two seven three point one five Kelvin, okay. Either one, yeah. So uh, both accepted. Okay, so let's calculate and see. Uh, three R R T R is uh, eight point three one. Okay, the temperature is 0 degree Celsius, change to Kelvin is 273 Kelvin already in SI unit, good. And then our molar mass, our molar mass, 
is kilogram uh, in kilogram per mole uh, okay kilogram per mole uh, okay let's check the answer is it correct yeah let's check the answer okay so the answer i get is uh, uh, from here is 652.2 yeah, 0.2 meter per second. Okay, it seems that different answer. Huh? It seems that different answer. Okay, let me try divider there. Okay, uh, so this is the first method. Just now, this is the uh, this is the first method, and this is the second method. So, uh, I get a different answer. So, what conclusion can I make? Is it means that the second method is correct, the first method is wrong? Is it is it like that? Okay. Uh, so actually both methods are correct. Both methods are correct. So what why the answer is different is because this value 1.43, he said the density at this and standard temperature and pressure is 1.43. This 1.43 may be just a random value. Uh, it's not the real value of density of oxygen gas at standard temperature and pressure. Uh, so the real value of density of oxygen gas at this standard temperature and pressure should be a different density, different value. Uh, should be a different value, the different actual value. Uh, this is just a random value. That's why, that's why when I calculate uh, uh, the root mean square speed of oxygen gas, uh, this uh, this value is actually actual. This is uh, based on this molar mass, which is uh, correct. But this one is uh, this is not actual, not actual value. Okay, because the density value is just a random value. Uh, so the answer you get also is also is a random value. Uh, so uh, so how I, in such a situation, what should you do? What I can say is this question has error. This question has arrow, arrow at the part of the density value here. Okay, the density value here is not, it's actually not 1.43. Uh, it's actually not 1.43. Yeah, density of oxygen gas at standard temperature and pressure is actually not 1.43. It's actually other value. Uh, it, if you put the actual value of density over here, you should get this value, 6 uh, root mean square velocity, 652. Ah, uh, so... So, uh, but if let's say exam come out these questions, yeah, uh, since this is just a random value, so it is encouraged that uh, you just use the value given. Uh, you just use the value given. So, uh, since he give you the density, since he give you the density, but he didn't give you the molar mass, he didn't give you the molar mass, so you try to avoid, you try to avoid the value not given. Uh, you try to avoid the value not given. You use the value given, which is the density. Understand or not? Uh, because you want to follow the answer scheme. You want to get the answer in the answer scheme. Uh, so you just, uh, since it gives you density, give you density value, so you should use a formula with density, uh, which is this formula, which is pressure equal to 1 over 3 density VRMS square. You should use this formula and uh, then only you can get the answer in the answer scheme okay uh, so my that's that's my conclusion what i can say is both methods are correct both methods are correct but since it gives you density you should use the formula with density okay to get the answer in the answer scheme 461 okay so that's all for this question thank you bye